Hello, my name is Scott with Houston Event Photography, and today I am going to uh, be walking you through the steps of doing a chroma key or a green screen job using TriPrism's Teps X software. To start the software, uh, on our desktop we have the little camera icon down here in our uh, toolbar, and we click it to open up the, the program. And this is the main menu of Teps X. Uh, if you needed to make any kind of changes to any kind of preferences or anything, this is where you would come to do that. Because when you're actually operating the software, uh, some of the settings are grayed out and you can't get to them. Alright, so we're just going to start real quick. I'm going to go over here. We're going to preview images because we're not capturing uh, images with this computer today. We're just using it as a demo purpose, so we've already got images loaded up on here. So I'm going to hit preview images. Uh, I'm going to go to this demo image folder. And you'll notice at the top up here, I have some thumbnails of some green screen images. There's also a couple of them that aren't uh, green screen. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to select a template that is a green screen template. And normally, we'd already have this set where it's pointing right to the template that we want to use. But I use this computer for doing testing for other things. So it wasn't set up correctly to start. All right, right here we have a, a uh, template that's called Pirate Landscape. And when I click that template, it will show up on the screen. And you notice uh, it dropped this blue background out when it placed this image on this template. Uh, all these images that I have up here, we use them for testing purposes all the time. So they all have been... Uh, manipulated in one way or another and one thing about TEPS is once you do manipulate one uh, it remembers those settings uh, it writes it to some kind of file and uh, if I was to even take these images and put them on another computer it would still see that I've touched that image before and whatever settings I've changed have been saved to that file it'll open them up that way in, in, the, in another computer so once you touch them, they're pretty much always uh, going to be the same when you open them up. I'm going to start out uh, with this image right here. Uh, you notice it's a green background. Uh, a gentleman in the picture has a blue shirt on and his child has a green shirt on. This is a perfect example because these are all colors that Triprism is going to try to drop out when you use green screen mode. Uh, it's going to try to key out this blue and it's going to try to key out this green. Now you notice on this particular picture, like I said, we've touched it before so it's doing an excellent job of, of taking care of those problems right now. But I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to do this. Uh, we normally at a job, uh, when we get set up, we'll try to catch somebody coming by that has own colors that we know might cause us a key problem and uh, take their picture and use them uh, to get our computer set up. All right, I have two buttons over here. I have one that's called Shift Zoom and I have one that's called Chroma Key. I'm going to go into that Chroma Key uh, button and you notice there's four buttons down here, one, two, three, and four. Number one, uh, that's the button that you're going to use to tell TriPrism what it is that you're trying to drop out. In this case, we're trying to drop out this green background. I know behind this gentleman there's green even though you're not seeing it on the screen so I'm gonna draw a square on that green background and you notice it almost made them turn invisible alright the next thing I want to do is I want to go to button 2 and now it turned the mask black so that you can actually see the background back there and you notice over here, there's a shadow on the background. There's a crease in that background when we shot it. We didn't get it completely straight, and it was causing this shadow. I want to get rid of any shadows on the background, so I'm just going to draw where I know there's a shadow, and it took care of that. So we're moving on to the next button, button three. And button three is also a mask, but what you're going to be trying to do is make the people that you took the picture of, you want to make 
their mask completely white so you'll have a white mask on a black mask and I'll show you what I'm talking about I know this gentleman has on this this blue shirt here uh, Triprism is trying to drop that out so I'm gonna go on and draw in it and tell Triprism to leave it alone you notice he turned white a little bit more over here a little better he's got blue jean pants on a little better now his son has a shirt on that's all colors of green so I'm gonna hit his shirt and I went a little bit too far because now you're starting to see the background again I could do a command Z and step back and I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna take it a little bit at a time and for some reason it's trying to drop their skin out and all you're really trying to do is make this mask white against this black mask and I'm getting there and when I did that one I went a little bit too far I'm gonna go back all right this is probably gonna work perfectly and so now what I want to do, and it's important if you don't do this, I will show you what will happen. If you don't click back on this shift zoom button and you go up here and you double click this image so that you can see it and see what changes you've applied. And then you try to move it by dragging it. It's going to do that and you're going to go, oh God, I just messed up and now I've got to start all over again. Well, really you don't. Just hit command Z to back out and then go over here and hit the shift zoom button and you notice now the icon has turned to a little hand and now I can move it around and I can zoom it in and out to make it fit the template and look, look more realistic so don't don't freak out if that ever happens it's gonna happen until you get used to running the software that that's one of those things that this is really gonna happen a quite a bit until you get used just remember that command Z is your friend when you mess something up hit command Z and it'll take you back one step and hopefully uh, you can go from there and learn alright once we have this template keying out the green color that we want and keeping all the colors that we do want it's a good idea to save this particular setting to the template that you're using and how you do that is right down here there's a button that says set up defaults for this template I'm going to click that button and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say save the values to the template. It's going to ask me do I want to set it as the default. I do. And then once I do that, I want to exit back out of it. And then any other image that I use should work pretty good unless it's a color that maybe we didn't select in the original picture where we set it up. In this case, we got a green close enough to his, and this is one of those things I'm telling you. Uh, Tips X is excelling at as far as green screen. Uh, I couldn't do this probably in Express Digital, especially with this particular image because there's so many different colors that it's looking at to try to, to drop out. Really quick, I'm going to touch on this image right here. Here's another one of the things that's good about Tips X is you notice this green leaf on her blouse uh, looks perfect the reason it does is if I go into chroma key real quick down here there's a button called junk mask if I click on that junk mask it's going to show you that I have a circle drawn around that leaf and that's telling Teps X to leave that alone so I can clear that if I go back now and you look at the image you'll notice it's starting to get kind of fuzzy and you can kind of see the water through the leaf uh, so I'm gonna go back and here's a little, little quirks of Teps X this menu disappeared oh no don't freak out uh, either click the camera double click it sometimes it'll come back if not click up here on the image and there it is now I'm gonna go back real quick and fix this go back to my chroma key go down the junk mask you can draw circles, you can draw squares, or you can freeform by drawing with your mouse areas that you want it to leave alone. I'm going to do the circle of something real quick. Hit OK. And there it is. 
And this, this would have saved me on one job I did about five years ago. I was using Express Digital. Uh, every client that came up had a logo on their shirt that was green, and it was dropping out that, that green logo on their shirt, um, and I was seeing the background through it. And there was nothing I could do with Express Digital, but if had I been using uh, TEPSX, I could have fixed it real easy, just like you saw. Okay, uh, I hope this video uh, is informative. I uh, hope it showed you some of the features of uh, using the chroma key feature of TEPSX. And if you have any questions, you can email me at info at HoustonEventPhotography.com. And I'll try to help you the best I can. Again, there's that menu problem. I'm going to fix it real quick just to show you again. If you double click on that, there's your menu. And that's just a bug that's, that's always been in the software, and I wish they'd fix it. All right, thanks a lot. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video.